Sorry guys, I'm just starting a new uh, a new video. Uh, go live. I hope this is going to work. So where did I uh, stop? I put my oranges in the thermomix, and I'm going to whisk them into a puree. <laughs> This is fine. Uh, oh, it smells very good. And then you add your other wet ingredients to your uh, to that will form your batter, which is your eggs. One, two. I went to the community garden in um, Kuirup last weekend, and the lovely gentleman there sold me some uh, fresh eggs because my hens are still on strike, and uh, so I've got four of their lovely lovely eggs going in my in my cake and of course what would a cake be uh, without a bit of extra sweet so I've got some uh, beautiful honey and I put about three tablespoons that was about two tablespoons and here is another tablespoon going in and the other ingredient butter so about 100 grams of, uh, of butter going in to be whisked up for about 30 seconds and while that is whizzing I will uh, butter the uh, will butter the tray a bit noisy so with butter and anything you just use your trusty hands as I said I use coconut oil but butter or you could even just pour a bit of olive oil on there would serve the same the same purpose um, just have a quick look yeah the honey dropped uh, the honey dropped in give it a bit more I've got, I have to use up the time anyhow to butter my, uh, butter my tray. I love using butter instead of baking paper, cuts out another waste, uh, wasted material, something that I don't have to put, uh, put in the bin, so that's pretty nice. And when I, whenever I have played with butter, what I do is I usually rub that into my hands because coconut oil in particular is a really nice moisturizing agent and uh, you know you don't have to wash it uh, wash it down the drain and you know how your shins are always really really dry well mine are not <laughs> so there you go there's a little uh, a little frugal frugal tip for you and now all that is left to do is we're going to put our dry ingredients into the wet ingredients so our raising agent is in here close it give it a whirl that's it it just needs to be combined you don't need to do any major whizzing um, I use the use the spatula to go around there's always a bit of dry uh, dry items um, at the top of your of your mixing bowl just making sure it's all mixed beautiful and then all you do is you pour it onto your nicely oiled buttered whatever tray and it's a beautiful uh, beautiful fluffy uh, fluffy batter even though we haven't used refined flour so we've got all the goodness from our whole grain and it has it's only just been ground so none of the delicate oils that are in a grain have gone rancid 
you couldn't get any fresh and it really is not that um, not that difficult difficult once you get used to this style of baking um, some of the hungry mouths here in the house can uh, lick out the bowl um, because you don't want to waste the, the lovely remnants in um, in there that's it you can uh, spread it a bit thinner depending on what kind of thickness you want for your cake I know in my oven this will work with my 20 uh, 20 minutes uh, time time window there mm, I just licked it yeah very edible mm. so next thing is I'll just take this to the side and we'll just slice a few very thin should take the sharp knife for that here we go so I'm going to uh, attempt to cut some very thin slices of orange to decorate my uh, to decorate my cake with and then I'll just scatter a few thyme leaves over it and then it goes in the oven and it'll be done also uh, what you could do if you like cinnamon you could sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon over it that would be um, extremely pretty and it gives this uh, it provides this lovely wafting smell through the house which everybody loves I read an article once that apparently if you want to sell your <coughs> your house for optimal price you should be baking something with cinnamon cinnamon because this um, does something to the neuronal wi wiring in the brain of the prospective buyer to be a higher price I don't know where they did that research but that's what it said so here's our tray again and here I have got my lovely slices of of orange so I'll just put them over um, maybe in a pattern where it's a bit geometrical so you can cut in between the uh, in between the orange slices that might make your your life a bit easier in the uh, in the end look at that so I've got the half of one here so because my I didn't slice so very nicely I just fix these two broken uh, two broken ones and here come my scatter leaves going over oh that looks looks quite nice it looks like a happy uh, like a happy multiple sun cake <laughs> like open open cut cut uh, suns there you go a bit more I've got a few more here on the go and that's done so that'll bake for about 20 25 minutes Hi Ash! Bypass baking paper, hurrah! Yes, thank you. Uh, so I'll put it in the oven. As per usual, I will take a photo, put that on uh, on the thread, and then you can have a uh, can have a look. And if you're in Packingham, come and visit, and I give you a piece. Have a happy weekend. See you soon. Ciao.